Hello and welcome to the Ruth Goss Academy. I'm Miss Loveday, the Assistant Principal in charge of Behaviour and Standards here at the Academy. I do hope that you are well and keeping yourself safe during such uncertain times. Over the course of this video, I'm going to take you through the vital information that you need to be aware of before you or your son or daughter start secondary school in September. Every year, thousands of children across the city make that transition from primary to secondary school and it's a really, really exciting time. I know that some of you might be feeling a little bit nervous about Year 7 and that is completely normal, but I promise you that by week 2 you will be completely fine. At age 11, your son or daughter is absolutely ready for the responsibility that is coming their way. I'm sure as Year 6 students, you have already had the opportunity to experience this. But as you move into Year 7, you will have the responsibility placed upon you to act as a representative of the Ruth Goss Academy. In school and within the community, including coming to and from school. As you go through the school years, you then have the responsibility to set the tone for future year groups and help guide the future year sevens. Our motto is dare to achieve beyond what you are today. And that is not just a slogan. It is intrinsic in all that we do at the Ruth Goss Academy. Over the next five years, you, students, are going to be challenged you are going to be stretched and at times it will be really hard. For example, in every lesson, that's 25 times a week, you will be required to work in the purple zone. And this is where you will be pushed right to the edge of your ability, whatever that ability is, in order to develop, improve and grow within your learning. The way in which we achieve this within the academy focuses around three core principles. High aspirations, high expectations and a personalised approach. This is our promise during school time, however it is incredibly important that you as parents and carers support us in our approach. I will not apologise for the fact that we have a very strict behaviour policy. Positive discipline is the backbone of our academy, rewarding excellent behaviour, attitudes to learning and consistently and fairly dealing with wrong behaviours when they are seen. This is the same with our uniform and personal appearance policy and our approach to attendance. We expect all students to attend school every day. Excellent attendance is essential for academic progress and achievement, but also for the happiness of students. Students who miss school often miss out on experiences both in lessons and in social times and this can lead to them feeling isolated or not happy in their education. There are some key things that you can be doing at home to help your child and to support them and prior to them joining us. First of all, we need to make sure that everyone attends the academy on a day-to-day -day basis. You can also support them to meet their homework deadlines, <coughs> making sure that they are getting the right amount of sleep on a day-to-day -day basis, making sure that there is a quiet space for them to work, checking the planner regularly and the planner is absolutely intrinsic in all that we do and should be checked every evening. And also considering healthy eating and regular exercise. We also have very high standards of uniform and this includes the Ruth Goss Academy V-neck grey jumper with a red stripe, long sleeves and the logo Academy, a white shirt, Plain black or charcoal grey tailored trousers, not skinny fit, or a plain black or charcoal grey airline skirt, which must be knee length. The school tie with the navy red stripes, black or grey socks and tights, black 
plain leather or leather look shoes which must be below the ankle. The jumper and tie can both be purchased from Price and Buckland which I know you've had information about already. Students also have the option to wear a black plain hijab, a black plain bell and a red school overcoat. This is a brand new uniform for September 2020 and I cannot wait to see you, all of our students, looking smart on your first day. In addition to our school uniform, we also have a PE uniform. Our PE uniform is being demonstrated to you by some of our current students in the photo. This includes navy and light blue PE polo shirt, navy and light blue shorts, navy and light blue socks and you could also wear plain navy black tracksuit bottoms or the light blue hoodie these are optional items and can be worn during the colder weather at the discretion of the teacher students are also required to have sports trainers but please be aware that pump styles such as converse are not suitable in addition to this there are a couple of key aspects of our positive discipline policy and approach to behaviour that I would like to point out to you and make really clear. First of all is around shoes. All shoes must be formal, plain black leather or leather look shoes below the ankle. Students should not wear shoes that are decorative, so for example have diamantes on or have coloured reflective stripes or logos. Backless sandals, boots, trainers or leather shoes are not appropriate and will not be tolerated. Hair must be of one suitable length and must be of natural colouring. Mobile phones and smart technology are not um, part of our policy. If seen, heard or we are made aware that they have been used, these will be confiscated for 48 school hours. That includes the SIM card and the phone. So for example, if you were to get your phone confiscated on a Thursday, you would not get that back until Monday. And if on a Friday, it would not be until Tuesday um, when you could collect it. Racist and homophobic language will not be tolerated. If used within the school and or directed at another student or staff member, it is highly likely to result in exclusion, given the severity of the action. I would like to point out that we expect the vast majority of students to be doing nothing but thriving and receiving a huge number of positive stamps for their uniform, behaviour and conduct around the school, but I do wish to be really clear with you from the outset. We are due to have our first day back in September for Year 7 on Monday the 7th of September. We would expect your child to arrive at 8.20 to start this really exciting journey here with us at the Ruth Gorse Academy. This is where it all starts and where those aspirations and dreams begin. The things that we have talked about in secondary school in general will be challenging. If, like us, you wish for your son or daughter to flourish and achieve those aspirations, then it is integral that we work in partnership. Over 50% of a student's time whilst at school is spent outside of school. And I can assure you that we will ensure that they get the best possible provision during the six hours a day that they are with us. However, this needs to be reinforced and supported at home. We are at the beginning of what really is a remarkable opportunity with incredible facilities and openings that comes with it. The Academy really is a remarkable place where I know your son or daughter will be happy and thrive. The thing I would really ask is that if there is anything that you are concerned about, even the little things, that you do let your form tutor know in the first instance. And if this is not resolved, Mr Andrews, the head of year, and Miss Bromley, the pastoral officer, are available to support you. We have a pledge that if you would like to speak to someone, 
This happens within 48 hours. We can always respond straight away due to teaching commitment, but it is really important that we are available for you as soon as possible, which is why we have the 48 hours return policy in place. I really hope that you found this video useful. Thank you for your time and attention, and I can't wait to see you all soon. Thank you very much.